this is Tina. Um, I am showing y'all my setup here. I am doing an event on uh, Facebook for Dreamer Designs. It's called the Spring Drill Along. So um, I just want to do a video to for my day two progress, which. As y'all can see, I got my drills and everything set up over there. And then I have my whip, which is work in progress, right here. And this is day one. This is what I've gotten done in one day. From 12 o'clock yesterday till about 9 o'clock last night. Um... Might be a little too bright. Let me cut it off. See if that's better. Yes, that's a little better. It is on the light board, so let me cut the light board off. So y'all can see the vibrant colors. Still can't see the vibrant colors. There we go. Look at them colors in there. And that's just like not even halfway across the bottom. So I thought I'd do a little whipping chat to show everybody, to chat with everybody. I want to say, um, Thank you to my new subscribers and welcome. I am glad you're here. I hope you get a, a lot what you uh, get out of what you came for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my Uh, lights back on. So we can see. I'll bring you like that a little bit. So my chair doesn't hit the screen. Um, I didn't quite get this section completely done last night, so I'm going to finish this section up and hopefully um, I don't have too many distractions. So, with that being said, we are going to work on 743, which is the check marks. This painting is called The Wooden Bridge. Um, I do not want to say the n name of the artist because I can't pronounce it. But it's on their website. It's called The Wooden Bridge. Um, I hate to obliterate people's names. I do. So that's why I don't hardly try to pronounce their names. Um, this is day two of the spring drill along for Dreamer Designs. Um, this is my first event ever. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I'm going to do another event um, starting April 28th. It's called uh, Butterflies with Diamonds event. It's put on through Lindsay Simmons and Nicole... Uh, Druger and 
you can find them both on Facebook and uh, Diamond Painting Uncensored. Facebook group. So, but to know a little bit about me. Um, <clears throat> I am getting ready to start a new job. It is a work from home job. I am pretty excited about it. So, I'm just glad I won't have to go out anywhere. Because if I had a regular job, then, you know, they wouldn't let me do what I needed to do with, like, my medication and stuff. And also, I thought this was the best fit for me. Um... Anyhow, uh, for, my, for the ones that doesn't know, I live in Virginia. It's a little small town called Farmville. Um, my, I have two grown kids. My daughter is t almost 24. My son is almost 22. So, my daughter has already moved out, which is why I have this diamond painting room. And then my son is currently looking for a place so he can move out. And then I'll have my office. So, yeah, they... They are spreading their wings and flying away. Then me and my husband would be empty nesters. Yay. Um, I know I've asked this question before. What do y'all like to do when you're diamond painting? Um, a lot of times I'll listen to music or listen to YouTube videos. Um, so, Sorry if I pause a little bit, but <clears throat> sometimes the wheels in my head are turning. And I have a tendency when I diamond paint to not talk, which I need to get better at that for making YouTube videos. That's why I don't have too many whipping chats. Um, if y'all like, y'all, um, can share my video, you can, I would appreciate it. Um, in case you haven't watched previous videos, um, I said that if I get to like 150 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. Uh, I think I'm going to put that down to 100 subscribers to do, do like a 100 subscriber giveaway of a diamond painting. Um... I don't know which diamond painting it's going to be yet, but I 
that is my plan. I'm going to have to get my pen waxed up again. Okay, is anybody wondering where I get my tray towers from? Um, I get them from... Uh, Nicole uh, Druger. She has a website called Bella Art Day Nicole. Um, it's www.bellaartdaynicole.com. And her and her husband 3D prints, you know, the trays, these little trays, which they have newer versions. These come with lids. I just don't have the lids on them right now, but they come with lids. The newer version ones, they come with lids, but the lids slide off like that. And they slide back on. And then it comes with these cute uh, tray towers that you can put your little trays into. So, that's where I get them from. Um, the storage containers I got off of Amazon, Elizabeth Ward. This is a Donna Bass pen. Ain't it pretty? I hope y'all can see that. That's a Donna Bass pen. This pen right here that I'm using is from Poshy Pens. You can find them on Facebook too. So, those are my two favorite pens. had some people to ask how I get my drill so straight uh, it's constantly uh, using the tweezers to straighten them up if I place them crooked like I just did on that one I don't use any rulers because for some reason the rulers I have I've tried them. They just don't line up with the grids on the diamond painting. So. I love that popping sound it makes. I like that. Um, yeah, the they just don't line up. I've tried the round ones too, and... I don't know what it is, but it's like the diamonds are too big for the grids of the round ones. And they don't come through. They all get pulled off of the canvas. So, I said I ain't even worried about using them. I don't use them. I think... I've been, I've been diamond painting this long without using them. Why well, try now? Um, I've been diamond painting for um, a little over two years. Last month was my two-year mark, which was February. That was my two-year mark. Um, when I first started, my husband was like, but don't go crazy over this because you're probably not going to uh, do it very long. And here it is two, two years later and I'm still diamond painting. And then my husband tells me he don't see how I could be so patient with putting the diamonds on one by one. But in, you know, cases with like confetti diamond paintings and all, you almost have to put them one by one. Thank you. 
the wax that I use, um, I get from Metalheads DP on Etsy. Um, so if you want to check them out, I think they're still on vacation in the shop though, but... It'd be worth checking out when they come back. Um, you can get, you can have Etsy to give you a, um, to send you an email when they're back. So. Um. I'm not affiliate affiliated with anybody. Um, every diamond painting that I have gotten, and I'm sure most of you seen the pictures on my uh, page and all, <clears throat> but I am not affiliated with anybody. Uh, I have bought and paid for all of my kits so if anybody was wondering that um i started the youtube video to you know mostly to help me become more sociable and how to talk and all um I've been such an introvert <laughs> that I hardly socialize with anybody. <clears throat> so this is my way of socializing. Um, I just feel, when I'm out in public, I just feel like, you know, everybody is judging you and stuff like that. And I... I'm not into that, and I'm not into all the drama and stuff that's out in public and all. All right, I think I've got that color. Um, if you're wondering how I do my labels, these are um, dry erase labels. Uh, I learned this from the Colton Drigger. I put double-sided tape on there first and then put there and they stick a whole lot better they do so that's how i do that my labels on these trays let's see my next and also when i do a diamond painting especially a square for some reason it's just easier for me to start at the bottom right and work my way over it's just easier for me. Um, but when I do my uh, cut on what to decide to do next, I usually just go straight across. You know, whatever line I'm at, I go straight across. Like I, up here, I'm going this way. So my next color is these X's. It's 3608, which it's only one of them. I just find it easiest for me. Um, it might be a little OCD, but I, that's how I do it. You can do it any way you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Um, I know a lot of people start at the top left. A lot of people start at top right. I guess left-handed people would start at the bottom left or top left. Um, whichever way it's easiest for you, like I said, this way is just easiest for me. And y'all have to excuse me if I repeat myself, it's that's just me. I repeat. <laughs> All right, my next color would be the plus signs, which is 3607. 
I'm glad that these plus uh, these 3607 and 3608 is so close in color, but I'm glad they have different symbols. I mean, there's not too many of them right side by side, but they have different symbols that is not that would not be confusing to some. Which I've had some that were really confusing. And they were almost the same color and right side by side. And I don't like that at all. What do y'all like about diamond painting? And what do you dislike about diamond painting? For me, diamond painting is... Um... Like a getaway for me. Um, I know, I know, like Caitlin Burr, Caitlin Burr from Dreamer Designs did the live stream last night on uh, Facebook, and she asked that question, and I told her it helped. It, diamond painting actually helped me lose weight. Because I am a stress eater. So I eat when I'm stressed. So I was almost 250 pounds. And since I've been diamond painting, I am down to 184. So it's actually, diamond painting's actually helped me lose weight. And that's how, because I'm a stress eater. I eat my emotions. So... Now, when I feel stressed or I feel upset or something, I just come in here and diamond paint. Which is a whole lot better than eating yourself to death. 3346 is my next color. So, yeah, that, that's how it's helped me lose weight. That was the only two of that color. So. Alright, my next color is 741. hope everybody's weekend has gone good. Mine has been uneventful. Um, I didn't have to go anywhere, didn't have to do anything, but diamond paint, which is good for me. Because the more I diamond paint, the less stress I feel and the less I eat. Um, my dislikes of diamond painting, I don't have many dislikes of diamond painting. Um, I guess my only pet peeve is when I get a kit in and it has a lot of rivers and runs in it, which I don't see that with Dreamer Designs. Um... I've never gotten a diamond painting from Dreamer Designs with rivers and runs in it. <clears throat> so, and I know a lot of people, you know, say they don't like Dreamer Designs because they look too pixelated. Well, you know, they're not really pixelated. Once they're done and completed, they are actually pretty, really, really pretty. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, I have a Facebook page. It's like a personal blog of mine. It's uh, Little Teacup Diamond Painting. You can see 
where I completed Portals of the Past. <clears throat> so, and I got that hanging over my bed. And it doesn't look pixelated at all. It's very pretty. Turned out very pretty. Um, it might, people might think that before the kit is completed. The only thing I can say is don't judge a book by its cover. You know, get one, do one, complete it and see how you like it then. I was, when I first started diamond painting, I used to watch this woman on YouTube. Um, I know her YouTube handle was uh, cancer, kicking cancer's butt. And uh, she always said, trust the process. So... That's what you have to do when it's diamond painting. You have to trust the process. Some colors m might not make sense in the beginning, while the other colors will. But in the end, it all turns out, you know, the way it's supposed to be. So, I'm going to be like her on kicking cancers, but trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> All right, I think I got all of them. Let's... All right, my next color is going to be right here. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. Bring it in a little bit. There you go. It's a little better, isn't it? Alright. Which is 336. Um. I don't know how long I'm going to let this video run. Um. It probably isn't going to be too long. Because I have a puppy in there. In the living room. And... He's probably going to want out here soon. <laughs> I have him in his little bed right now. I got hardly got any wax in it. <laughs> I'm going to do this uh, color and then cut the video because I hear my puppy in there whining. So, but this is starting day two of the spring drill along. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, the subscribe button um, you can even hit the little bell on there to be notified when I post a new video so with that being said I am going to go ahead and let y'all go and I hope y'all enjoyed this video like I said this is day two um, I will probably be posting a um, picture of day two progress tomorrow. So, I don't know how far I'll get, but we'll see. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Y'all have, stay safe. Live, laugh, and love. Bye. Bye.